Ah. Yeah. Ah, sina ata, sina uwezo. Wacha tu. Wacha tu ikae. They assume I could happen. Ha on a bandage. Amefunika mpaka macho. Aki honestly that was very weird. Like siku kwa expect as much as Dorin is so dramatic. Siku kwa expect kitu kai hiyo. You see? Mm. Dorin can make a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> Fikta hapa na kuambia ndani ya pasta show pasta show P A S T A au sio sijui kama unja subscribe zio na ngoja nini hii ndio number one online channel ambapo you learn you love you and kama ujaenda shule hapo utajifunza mambo mingi utacheka na utafurahia tu interviews tu nini yani hii ndio the number one show pasta show subscribe alafu usikose kwenye kale ka kufinya kale ka notification pele finya 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 kama ukuwahi kuwa time keeper shule hapo hii ndio chance ya kufinya kakengele yako pasta show sio asante sana nifikita hello guys welcome to pasta show of course eh? this is the number one online show east and central africa guys we are continuing with this difficult story which is taking twist day in day out remember this is a triple s story and of course i'm stano guys have you yet followed me on instagram Go follow me at Stano underscore Pasta Show. Of course, eh? Go like my photos. And also, get me your inbox. Get to my inbox. Nirushika message up on Yambia. How do you think about this whole saga? Right now, Dorin to Mempata. That is my greatest happiness. First, to get her. Because I know we are going to get to know the deep secret number two, which is coming soon. Immediately, we come to realize that she is well and she can be able to handle her, her, herself on camera. With me, I have the Ugandan DCI Akenga. Remember, I forwarded the matter of Doreen's missing immediately. I came to realize that Doreen was not on set. Doreen was to come on set on Saturday at exactly 9 a.m. But unfortunately, this, did, this didn't happen. Remember, this is the triple S story. Doreen. Ah, sorry, Akenga. Welcome on set. Thank you so much, Stanu. So fast. I forwarded the matter to you immediately after Doreen went missing. Have you done your investigation so far? Okay. First and foremost, I'm the cause of Doreen, Doreen's disappearance. That's the very First, point. can you repeat the statement that you have just said? First and foremost, I'm the cause of Doreen's disappearance. But singe kuambia because you'll have blown the cover. Like unge, unge, sema, unge sema kila kitu before before I get to investigate whatever I wanted to investigate. So, kitu ilifanya ni kachukua Dorini first, after blowing the... Yo, likuwa na Dorini ito, miyote tunamtafuta. Okay, not really mimi personally, uh -huh. but what happened is, after amepeana secret number one, uh -huh. deep secret number one, uh -huh. nilituma watu, wakamchukue, and they took her to a place, very safe. Uh -huh. Yeah. But mimi mwenye siku kuwa directly involved. Because I knew, the moment Doreen angejua niko involved, hange sema kitu yote, because she doesn't trust me, na pia anajua, I'm, I'm an investigator. You see, sasa Doreen venya lichukuliwa, at first, alikuwa na resist sana. So because of the resistance, akajigonga wapi? Hapa kwa kichwa. Yeah. Na unajua tu Doreen, how cheeky she usually is. Akafunga ya bandage kwa kichwa ke, you see? Just to make it look so ambiguous, like something so big. You mean Doreen hakuwa meumizwa? Alikuwa meumizwa, yes. But yet ilikuwa ni kitu kubwa sana. It was something very small. Just like a small, blo, bi, nini, just like a small wound up IV. Yeah. Ata kukuwa me bleed. Nikalikuwa tuka mefura. Nini kilifanyika ili afure? Ni sababu... Venye wale watu walikuwa na mchukua, alikuwa na resist sana. She was so dramatic. Like, alikuwa, I don't know how to explain it. But she was, she, she really resisted it. She was so dramatic. Na alikuwa na jua labda, Yuzi was after her life. So that's why alikuwa na try sana kuwa fight. But of course, hangeweza kuwa fight. Because these are two very powerful men. So akenda kuingizwe hivi kwa gari, akagonga kichwa. You see? Oh, akagonga kichwa hivi. Na... Yeah, ikachapa, ikagonga mlango, hapa hivi kwa kisogo. Just like a small, just like a small nini, just like a small kidonda, but it, it did not bleed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This man forced her into the car. Of course. Now you are men. Yeah, my own men when nilikuwa ni metuma. But they, they didn't, they didn't beat her. They didn't they didn't do anything bad to her. Remember, Dorina alikuwa nasema alikula 
alikuwa anakula alikuwa anakunywa anakunywa anaoga yeah exactly that's why yatete menye alikuwa anakuja hapa hivi kwa show alikuwa so clean by, by the way i wondered that that kitu hiyo Dorin was so clean unajua Dorin after the release eh? mm-hmm. Dorin came direct to my house exactly. and she was super clean na mbona ukujiuliza if at all alitoka after me releaseiwa tu immediately akatoka huko kama amekuja akatoka mali alikuwa ameshikiwa kama amekuja huko direct and she was so clean she was not akwa mekonda the only thing is the only thing that, that changed ni hiyo sauti because alikuwa amelia sana you see alikuwa amelia sana but uh, the good thing is that i i, I investigated about the deep secret number 2 first that, t- na deep secret number 1 was it real first yeah uh-huh. what she talked about was true uh-huh. as much as nule mtu akuropokwa this time round i was even surprised that that's why i feared for her life i was even surprised kusikia na ongelelea kitu kama hiyo <laughs> and uh, th- that is the main thing that made me sa- try to save her life because singetaka life yake iende inini ikuwe ikuwe mbaya kama venye shiba li venye shiba alifanywa you see na siku anataka any other thing to come between the investigation ya shiba na nini steve steve okay issue ya shiba na steve so venye alirilithiwa actually place yenye alikuwa Place yenye alikuwa alikuwa very safe alikuwa nakula na kunywa but the only thing that these people were these people were doing walikuwa wana interview just to get to know the real truth na sababu of course Doreen akishaongeleshwa mara ya kwanza ya pili definitely atasema kila kitu See, you know you, you of course know how she is so she said everything na my men walikuwa na cameras na microphones to to small hidden microphones zenye zilikuwa zinafanya hata mimi nasikia mahali nilikuwa so i oh, so every question that they were asking because Doreen said eh, she was interrogated 90% of her time when she was there yeah and that was the main thing okay that that's the second thing yenye nilikuwa nataka kufanya because first of all to save her life secondly to investigate about the second deep secret Uh, the interrogation nili make sure during the interrogation asiguzwe asipigwe apatiwe food aoge apatiwe maji like a provide kila kitu ni kama tu kwa nyumba but the only difference is that time interrogation you at least watam watam harass kidogo but si, si kumguza not getting physical nile tu maybe ku, kuambiwa vitu zinaweza kutuliwa kutuliwa yeah exactly vitu zinaweza fanya akue kind of scared yeah that's what i did <laughs> that's why star no unakumbuka dorin akikuja kwa show alikuwa amefunga bandage you see how dramatic this lady is amefunga bandage kwa kichwa like hadi imeshika macho and you are asking yourself like how by then i said some of my umizo kunyuma lakini amefunga bandage ubaka huko kwa macho exactly it doesn't <laughs> add up like hey, hey, hey. just hey, dramatic yeah. kabisa dorin <laughs> <laughs> Dorin by the way Dorin by the way alikuwa al, alisema vizuri ameumizwa hapa nyuma lakini amevunga bandage njupaka kwa macho Yeah but my men walinitumia picha hapo mali alikuwa ameumia It wasn't something big by the way it's just like a small thing hata si rais mtu ku notice Akwaju alikuwa ame resist kuingia kwa gari penye Yeah ya yeah, alikuwa na resist so ni ile amesukuma hivi ndani ya gari akajirusha eh. so hiyo kujirusha akajigonga wapi hapa hivi aligonga kichwa kwa mlango actually yeah hiyo tu ndo kidonda alipata so i was i was even surprised okay siku kwa there physically because dorin would have would have ruined everything kama ningekuwa but seeing her on a bandage amefunika mpaka macho aki honestly that was very weird like siku kwa as much as dorin is so dramatic siku kwa expect kitu kai yo you see dorin can make a very good actor <laughs> <laughs> Well, but I'm very glad. I'm very glad that she 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 now be. Mbona si kujiuliza hiyo swali? Mzee anasema ameumizwa hapa nyuma lakini amejifunga bale nyumba kwa macho. Yeah, I love the funny thing. Alikuwa msafi. Yeah, by the way, natena akatuambia alipewa mpaka fear. Imagine. <laughs> ni, ni nani ni kidnapper mgani atakupatia mpaka transport ya kurudi mali umetoka si most of the people usually usually torture you torment you do everything to you like do everything bad to you and then wanakuachilia 
Alafu pia she was so clean. Yes, she was super clean. Yeah, so her saying that uh, she was she was kidnapped and tortured and uh, akapigwa I don't know, but the interrogation I had to make sure that I get each and every detail of the deep secret number 2 so that I really know that I, I really know what's about to happen ama what is happening. On, uh, okay, I, I get I get her side of the story. Don't you even interact? Don't you even enter investigate all this matter? Yeah. So you mean all this was Doreen's chickiness? Okay, somehow. What about her daughter? Because eh, mm. she went missing together with her daughter. Yeah, of course her daughter, when you got to Doreen, alikuwa ready kwa gari. Like, tulichukua mtoto kwanza. And then now, Doreen, because alikuwa na try to resist sana, alikuwa na try to fight sana, ndo aliweza, ndo alingia wapili. Yeah. So, walikuwa, walikuwa pamoja with the daughter. So, but mpaka hita imiota wamekua na her daughter. Yeah, exactly. So, the daughter is safe, very safe and sound. Hakuna mali ya meguzua, hakuna mali ya meumizua. She's very okay. Actually, yata menuna nona kidogo. Hey, by the way, yeah. hali nidishanga. Homes ya mekitoka kidnapi, hamekitoka kuwa kidnapped. Hamerudi aje na NJ yote. <laughs> of course, Tano, let me show you the photo of where these people were. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Sunona. Wow. You can Ma. see the room. Anaona mpaka much... kiti ni ya leather kabisa. Yeah, hata kama haiko fully furnished, uh -huh. iko sawa ni place yenyewe mtu anaweza ataka kukaa. You see? Yeah, by the way. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So it was not a bad place. Anaona mpaka hebu this in video hebu kidogo. Yeah, yeah, this video. Umeiona? Sinaona mpaka anazunguka tu kwa nyumba vizuri. Sasa unaona hebu let me show you. Uh -huh. Sunona e time. Nani investigators walikuwa nakuja? And then Dorina na shituka kidogo. Yeah. But uh, she was she was okay. She was fine. Haja umia malipopote. As you can see the face. Yeah. Hana bandage. Hana anything. Hana any bruises. Because I made sure. Mm -hmm. Hakuna mali ya mipigwa. Mm -hmm. Haja umia. Sebabu wenye pia mimi singe freya kuona kiwa meumia. You see? Yeah. And why? Because Dorina sisikia kikutaja pa alipopote. Mono ulikataa kuenda we mwenyewe direct kwake. Uwende umuliza maswali sasa. Uliamua kutumana kwa nini? Remember the first time I investigated about her and then tukongea, tuli clash. So since then, Doreen hange ni trust. Na pia alijua mini investigator. Like alijua sasa the real truth that mini investigator. So hangeza kuni, hangeza kuni skiza, hange ni, hange ni ambekutu yote. So I had to send people, uh, nini kufanya ya feel ni kama maybe ni using do anamu, anatry kumpreten. Ile mind game, you see. I just had to 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 try be professional, uh, making sure that uh, she's she's safe. I sent people when ye walimchukua. Na mimi mwenyewe, I was involved in a sense that I had microphones and I had two small cameras. Zenye zilikuwa zina record everything that they were doing. Na mimi nilikuwa informed apo mali nilikuwa. Yeah. Because kama Dorina ngejua ni mimi, of course, ingekuwa ni, ingekuwa ni no masana. Doreen wouldn't have said anything. I can assure you of that, Stano. Doreen hange sema kitu yoyote. Hange ongelelea the deep secret mali popote. But because aliona enyewe, venya watu wamemchukua ni kama wana mkidnap, because enyewe, according to the stories, venya likuwa na peana her life was in danger, akamua, let me just blow the cover. Let me just tell these people everything because I want to be released, I want to be okay, I want to be safe and sound. Is this in the line of duty? of the DCIs, of the investigators, of the detectives. Concerning whatever she told me, it is in line of whatever I was doing. It is in line with the investigation. Actually, I mean, yeah, I see Shia Kazi because now I'll, I'll be sure of what I'll be doing. Yeah, I'll be sure of what I'll be investigating at, at that time. <sighs> Guys, remember this is the triple S story, which is taking twist day in, day out. Remember, Doreen was not harmed. I think it's time I call this Doreen. Cause Nataka Pia Mini on a quas and I do hi vidata kwa me yona. So exactly the next coming video I'll be having you and Doreen on set. Cause I need to see her very well. Hey, umizu up and you like in majifunga badage. Upaka kwa macho shu ali. That was so cheeky of her. That was so 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 cheeky of her. Doreen. Doreen. You can make a very good actor. Hey, let's meet. This is a triple story.